the Rat Rig 500 and the progress so far. I opted for the VZ Bot Rat Rig Hot End with Dragon High Flow VZ Extruder on the back holding an EBB36 controlled over USB 12, 24 volt power running down the back and under to a beacon probe that you can just see situated on a MGM9H600 rail on a 20 carbon fiber rod with 9mm belts stock idlers for X and Y custom sensorless end stop custom belt tensioners compatible for both enclosed and non-enclosed units 24 volt LED light strip illuminating print bed oversized 200% VZ brace supports printed in ABS customized arm screws where the balls actually slide I had a lot of issues with these balls not sliding on the rails as the magnets sat too high all mounts printed in ABS standard build motor mounts with moons motors standard lead screws standard kit Oldham couplers MGN 12 C the Octopus 1.2 becomes very redundant when you run an EBB 36 as you don't have to run all your hot end wires down to the unit I've only got a few sensor probes monitoring the temperatures of my 2209 drivers running sensorless and there's a few extras in there that are not required running a standard Raspberry Pi 3B with its dedicated power supply SSR for the bed and then the LRS 200 24 volt power supply and a couple of dodgy Wagos for the mains the overall wiring comes out pretty tidy with the back umbilical cable for the umbilical for the hot end we're just running two USB-C cables PTF tube and two power cables at the moment the printer is running headless with no screen plans to install this at some stage the TFT 50 big screen by Big Tree Tech and resolve the filament we're also going to be adding an ERFCF at some stage something along the lines that I'm running on my Voron this is a 9 I think I've got ordered a 6 for my rat rig our rat rig runs mainsail on clipper and we ran our own setup of the printer config based on the rat os build with a bit of customization to suit my needs so our startup of our unit is a script called on prep this will set our bed temperature to 180 our bed to 80 when our hot end reaches 180 it will begin it'll begin with a heat the hot ends home Z tilt move to the center of the bed and then load the default mesh so we're getting close to temperature getting close 170 and we begin with a sensorless home on X back off 100 sensorless home for Y Back off 100, go to center of the bed, home the Z, begin a Z tilt, Still needs more adjustment. It gets two attempts. It was pretty close on the tolerances at 0.03. It's got to be down to 0.01 and it succeeded. And then it just parked itself in the middle of the bed. I run a 48 by 16 mesh. Let's calibrate. Brings up the Z. Sits at the front. And we are beginning a bed mesh.
So it's got to do 16 along the Y and it does 48 along the X. And it will do two passes. And we're doing the second pass. So that's the mesh completed. It's a bit wavy because I've started to pat it out with some paper underneath to compensate. We're looking at a variance range of 0.327. That's pretty good considering it's a 500 bed. And if we turn off the high points and we turn off the low points, on average we've got a pretty good flat bed. So as you can see on my bed, I've padded it out with a fair bit of paper. So I have a natural high spot around the back here and natural low spot over here. And the two lumps that you can see on the mesh just here is that bit of paper. Looking at the front of the bed, that's those two bits of paper arms. It's only minor.